Okay guys, I have just watched uh, Unfollowed episode 1 from season 2 We are back on Which featured Mel Filiun And these are my thoughts, my name is Mbuisela Vlagazi Your reliable source to the latest podcast news And thank you so much for taking your precious time to join me Let us begin First of all, why did you guys place Mel on episode 1? For a premiere episode, you need to put a very powerful subject. You need to put a very... I'm not saying Mel is, is, is not a powerful individual. I mean, the story is quite interesting. But putting his Mkunu there on episode one. Put Pitch Black Afro there on episode one. Sing she. Didi didi. Yabong I mean. On a good note, speech in Zaumbi. Take my hat off is really good. Very demand. Um and guys let's stop comparing him, you know, um to the previous host. Everyone has their own style. I actually love this style. Oh do you actually guy it it do actually you do hey. Secondly, research as well done. You can tell that whoever was doing research for the show did their job, like details. That's very important, you know. My concern with this episode is that, and the fact that I said, why did they have to put it on episode one? It's very corporate. The jargon, the language, it feels like I'm in an office, in a business meeting. Now, that is not going to be very much appealing to an average viewer, you know. A show makes viewer. We're looking for something that I can really understand, you know, in simple English. So the episode sounded very corporate for me. And I thought, you know what? This is not going to appeal to a lot of show mix viewers. A lot of us, including myself. One thing I also noted from this episode is that Mel and Piet are very smart. You know what? When you have a lawyer, <laughs> Mel and Piet, they are very smart. And you have to know when you come for them. You have to come correct. Because, look. But I also got a sense that Piet runs the show. Yes, Mel is like female ent entrepreneur is the owner, but I have a sense that Piet is, he runs the show. You know what, um, if I was, you know, the producer or whatever director, I would have said, Mel only, don't put Piet on the show. But maybe the conditions was, Mel will, will come on the show, but the condition was to bring Piet. I'm just thinking out wild, right? I would have said Mel alone. I think Mel would have had a lot of um, contradictions if she was alone. So it helped her that she, she had Piet. Um, yeah. I will make sure I will not take any nonsense from anybody. There was a point where Mel was saying, um, don't speak over my husband. I'm like, ma'am. <laughs> Shut up. When he was speaking, you were the one who was speaking over him. And you guys, why are you... You know what? This whole Timmy Taylor story, honestly, guys, let me tell you. For me, I, it, I don't really care, to be honest. And I do feel for the victims. I, but I, to be honest with you, this story, for me, I, it, it's one of the stories that I don't care. If there was a newspaper, I would not even buy it if it has the whole Timmy Taylor things saga. Because I've read about it, I've reported about it. I feel like I've had enough of it. But my issue in all of this is... Mel and Piet are very sort of defensive, especially Mel when she started losing her emotions a bit. I, I'm sure Piet probably told her, you don't lose your cool because it's like, what if the question is, what are you hiding? And also, I am still trying to get a sense of why the whole world is wrong. You guys are right. There's not even one moment where you take accountability and be like, you know what, here, maybe in the Lerato case, you know, we were at fault. In the, you guys are just innocent. Also, I wish that if product, it would have been better if production got someone, an intellectual property lawyer, someone who specializes in intellectual property because that, 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 that whole episode was about IP, trademarks. And a bit of patents, you know, and we need a, a lawyer there who is a specialist in contractual law, you know, but but just an IP lawyer in general who's going to talk about licensing and whatnot. I felt that needed that. I felt as if, you know, speech um, thrived in this conversation, even though at some point you could see that he lost interest. 
when he was with Mel, he was still very energetic. But when Piet came in, I think he just he got bored. He was like, you know what? I'm bored. You could just see. I think he became like a bit disassociated. Associated. He was like, okay, uh, you know, yeah. But I, I, because right now speech is also incorporate um, in Dubai, you can tell because the language was very corporate. He was the best person to hold this conversation. Mel contradicts herself. She says, no, when I went to Jamaica for girls trip, I did not have a strategy. But then you say, what, uh, speech ask, is asking you, why did you have to carry the papers going to Jamaica? He says, no, but um, because I know because of my history, people like to question me, so I have to bring reasons. That in itself is a strategy. So you cannot tell me that you don't have a strategy. You did have a strategy going there. You wanted to de defend yourself, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's like those people who was like, I did not know I'll win an award. And then they had the speech.